is clear. Not clear! Not clear! Not clear. Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you didn't know, I was always a Star Wars fan, okay? Hold, let me show you. All right, we got, oh, fuck. My name's Cat's on. I got, look at this. I got a freaking little Darth Maul, and it's a piggy bank you press. Yeah, his, his other side of his lightsaber stuck in there. Don't worry, stop. Okay, stop, stop, stop. This, it, it doesn't turn off either. It just keeps going. So this is a mistake. Action figures out the ass. It, it, it's still making sense. It still just does that for like 20 minutes. It just... Let me just start with uh, mentioning that I do know that this game, when it first came out, had a lot of bad, um, I, I guess you could say rep. Not a lot of people liked it. Not a lot of people were a big fan of the whole, you know, pay to win aspect of it. Well, I mean, they, they've gotten rid of a lot of that right now. And uh, also, this is my first time playing it. I know it's three years old. I'm kind of three years late to making this review, but I, this is only my opinion anyway. So so if you, you, you don't go ahead and buy this game and be like, wow, Ian told me it was a great game and then it's a shit game. So this this is my opinion, okay? So 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 yeah, so so yeah. Yo, Ian, how's it going over here? I don't know. Using the specialist. Oh, below, below. Sniping him. I got an assist. Made it. Oh shit, Ian. Wiggle peeking works very well in this. Like if you just crouch, pop up, fire. That's oh. made. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about fucking classes. You could be a regular old assault boy, a heavy boy, an officer, a snipey boy, but then we get into more special classes. You could be a freaking droid that just fucks shit up. Oh. It's contested though if you can't read. <laughs> I'm literally skirting right now, Kyle. I'm coming to you, Ian. Oh! We got it. We got it. I did Next so much one. damage. You can be one of the most fun classes in the game, pretty much like a Jedi droid. This thing's got a fucking sword. This thing's insane. You could be a goddamn tank. Now they have so many different heroes you could choose from. I mean, you could be Anakin Skywalker. We, we got a problem. Oh, we got Anakin <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we got a problem. Darth Maul, I mean like the sickest guy you could be in the game. An old homeless man, a lizard, a frog, a useless character, and even Childish Gambino. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Fire! Run! Yeah, Boba. Aim Boba. Oh, he, can't, he can't deflect our shots. Right side. Flick! Ah, flick! 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 Oh, ah! I'm running! Go watch out! Go watch out! Yeah, you're running! Flick. Now all these classes have extra guns that you can unlock by just getting kills. The only thing about it is like realistically they're not going to be any modern cool looking guns. They're just kind of different. Uh, which is uh, completely understandable. I mean we're playing a fucking game that's supposed to be all about space, right? Of course they're not going to have fucking modern weapons. Um, but like the thing is there's not that much class progression in my opinion. I feel like there needs to be, you know, more weapons or more reason to want to keep playing this certain class to get the new thing, right? Like there are only four guns I think per class you can get and then other than that those cards that you unlock, but like once you run out of that stuff, what's the point, right? Now, there are skins, but the skins are kind of ugly and there's not really um, any skins that really stand out to make you want to buy that one. It's just very small details to each of the skins, which, I mean, if that's the kind of thing they want to go for, that's completely fine. But in my opinion, I feel like I'd want something more, something that I'm actually progressing towards. Okay, 
Next thing I want to talk about is game modes. Now, there's going to be single player, co-op, and multiplayer. I'm not going to do single player and co-op just because nobody really gives a fuck about those. Multiplayer is where it's at. Let's start with the three categories. Operations, Assault, Heroes, and Villains. We're going to go into Operations here. We got Ewok Hunt. It's kind of like spooky version of Infected. This is actually terrifying. It's like a horror game. With well, Stormtroopers. <laughs> oh, if you... Oh, no. I thought if you zoom in, you could see. But, eh, you can see a little bit better if you zoom in. Oh! Oh! This guy just came flying out of the corner. You got, dead. How'd you die? I got killed by SP. Oh, he's just gonna stop him! He's gonna stop him, people! <laughs> then there's blast, which is pretty much like a TDM. Over in the assault category, you got strike. Kyle. How long have you been in queue for now? It's been three years. And then you got Starfighter Assault, which is pretty much just like space wars with spaceships and lots of players and explosions and crashing into multiple walls because it's fucking impossible to use the goddamn motherfucking controls. Oh, fucking press C, go! Oh, fuck! I'm Don't trying to press C! Oh, what is happening? This is confusing! Oh, I'm locked to take it! Confusing times! <laughs> <laughs> now Galactic Assault and Capital Supremacy are a lot alike. So Galactic Assault is pretty much, you get 5 points, you guys cap them, the longer you hold on to it, you get per a percentage, once you hit 100% you win. Now Capital Supremacy has Galactic Assault in it, but once you get that 100% you actually go up into whoever won, so let's say I won, I'd go up into, our, into the enemy ship, and then you have to do another set of objectives there, and then if you lose during those set of objectives, you go back down, have to redo the whole 5 cap again, and then go up in the enemy ship, or maybe go back up in your ship if you lose, it could take hours. Holy shit! Fucking annihilate him, boy! Fire! Fire! Oh, shit. Push up, push oh, up! Yeah, shit! We need to make sure none of them are fucking... Don't let him push! Ah! Okay. We're not, we haven't won yet, Ian. We go back to the conquest. Holy fuck. Going over to heroes and villains now, we got three game modes here. Hero show, Showdown, which is pretty much a 2v2 of only using heroes and villains. I Stop, stupid ass! Stupid ass! Stupid ass! Stupid ass! Oh, man. <laughs> we won! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, protein! Then, obviously, heroes and villains, which is basically the same thing as Hero Showdown, but instead of 2v2, it's 4v4. And then Hero Starfighters is each hero has their own spaceship that's kind of with them. So Chewbacca and Han Solo will have the Millennium Falcon, etc, etc. This is also a 4v4. I'm literally the best player that ever was in this game, Ian. Following your six, going into battle. Why are you going so fucking fast? Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is some of the things I actually enjoy about this game. So we're gonna get into music. The music in this game is fucking amazing. Like, who doesn't like Star Wars fucking music? When you're going into battle, you're shooting people, and then just like, <gasps> freaking Star Wars music is the best music you got. Now, second thing I want to talk about is the maps. The maps in this game seem really fucking open, really big, awesome. Like, the, the, the atmosphere is cool. There's always, like, some fire going on or some exploded vehicle. The, they killed it with the maps in this game. The graphics in this game are fucking amazing. I'm putting the specs on screen right now. The, the graphics are great. Like, you could see every wrinkle on the fucking on Palpatine. It, it's just... It's so good. I, I love the graphics in this game and like I'm running a smooth amount of FPS while streaming, while recording, while audio recording and I'm still like smooth FPS. It's, it's, it's great. The gameplay in this game is extremely intense. Like there'll be some times where you're having a massive battle down a hallway, last couple seconds to around and it's so it's just such an intense feeling and they just really killed it with that. On top of that, I want to say that the battles in this game are so massive, so big to where it's like it feels like you're literally playing like a 60v60 instead of a 20v20. And I do know that they do have AI that are playing on like capital su supremacy and stuff like that and it's completely fine because I feel like they need that to kind of keep that big battle feel to the game. And I got to say they really do a good job of doing it. So the next thing I want to talk about is cons in this game, and um, there's only two ones I have to be honest. 
One, which is going to be the biggest one, is progression. I feel like there's a very small amount of progression. Now, I know a lot of people might not give a fuck about that. They might be like, yo, I want to hop on, shoot, shoot some shit, then get the fuck off. But for me, I like having that feel of, I want to come back to this game. I want to feel like I'm actually progressing somewhere. So that's a big problem for me is progression. I feel like it's definitely easy to get bored of the game because you're not getting that much of progression. Even if it was like, just like, you know... So weapons and attachments or something like that right now. It's like just weapons cards level. That's it I'm not 100% sure what they can do to even increase the amount of progression in the game because even myself I can't think of what they could do, but that's the only thing that really bothers me Other than that is I feel like it's kind of unfair when other people have such high cards and everything because of level and they just destroy you because of how much of a bonus they have with all these extra cards they have because you can rank them up from like one to three and whatever but it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't bother me that much. It's just kind of a little bit of a harder play style. Now, because it's not a Steam game, I can't leave a, a real review. But I'm going to go over what I would normally go over. So, player base, I'd feel like it's for everyone. I don't think uh, Star Wars is ever a mature or a childish player base. Now, graphics, I'm going to say is beautiful. I already know that. Price, I would say it's good for a sale. Right now, I got it for $20. I think it's normally $55. I'd say $20 is a perfect price for this game. Requirements, I'd say it's pretty fast requirements. It's not high-end. It's not super computer, but like it's fast graphic Difficulty, I'd say it's kind of a medium difficulty. It's not too hard. It's not too easy game length I'd say it's long. I wouldn't say it's endless just because again Like I said, I'd get bored of progression and even that you'll probably run out of players the story mode now This game does have a story mode. I don't know anything about it. I haven't played it. I heard it's really bad and boring um, Unfortunately, this game review is not gonna have that part. It's just gonna be multiplayer Oh shit Shit. Oh shit. Ah! Campaign complete. Oh, you guys can't see. No, fuck. Oh, fuck. Campaign completed. We did it. We fucking did it. So after editing the video and I realized I never did the story, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I stopped editing right there, right then, went and played the whole entire campaign. Now, I did finish the campaign all in one sitting and I am back to editing to finish this video. I gotta say, the campaign wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty boring in the sense of the gameplay was like, just go shoot this shit, go walk over here, go shoot some shit, go fly a plane, go sh but I mean like, there wasn't that much interactive things in the story, but the actual story was pretty interesting. Um, it was kind of predictable, though. That's the one thing I kind of don't like about it. But it, it was a fun story, and, and I did it somewhat enjoy it. Um, definitely not one of my favorite uh, story games I've ever played, but I did finish it. So my final review for the story is I would give the story itself probably like a 7 out of 10. Music and sound, I'm going to put that as amazing. Star Wars music's amazing. Bugs, there's only one bug that I found throughout the whole entire game and it was nowhere near game breaking. It was just a gun that kept shooting after the guy died. So I'm just going to leave that as nothing. My final score for the game is going to be a solid 8 out of 10, I think. Now, just because of that one con of the progression and stuff, but it's still a really fun game and I do enjoy it. Now, I hope my review helps you guys and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. If there's any games that you want to see get reviewed, please leave a comment. Anyways, thank you all for watching and have a good day. So apparently I sleep talk in my dreams. And what did I say? <laughs> You're like, okay guys, ready, ready for this video. Like, it's about to happen. Just keep watching, keep on. Boom, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asked what the fuck you were talking about. And you started telling me about the quality of the video. And that the angle was perfect for the video. And that I don't understand. And it's about Star Wars and something else. And then you started yelling at me because I didn't know. And you are like, babe, come on, it's for the video. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So you just start snoring. <laughs> But all I wanted was 150 points so I could become a specialist trooper. I'm bloody Ian! I'm a bloody tampon! What? Look at me. Oh, where are you? Um. Ian! I'm a bloody tampon! I'm a bloody tampon! <laughs> <laughs>